uh, we were we already have free nice frame and curvature torsion and for uh, parametrizations uh, uh, parametrizations of arc lengths but uh, sometimes we need to find the formula of curvature torsion and uh, freeness frame in uh, for general parametrizations uh, maybe that in the conditions that the uh, reparametrizations of arc lengths is diff uh, is uh, difficult or complicated or maybe it's uh, and maybe it's unable to reparametrize by the arc lengths. Maybe the, the expression is um, very complicated. So we need to find the uh, the uh, formula for curvature and torsion for general parametrizations. For general parametrizations, we only have R. The, the equation for the curl as r equals rt. So we need to use the derivative of our rt to, uh, to express the you know, curvature torsion and freeness frame. Uh, first, first, we know that the unit tangent vector as the derivative of the derivative of RT over the length of the derivative. Hence, the first derivative actually is the length of, length of the first derivative times T or as D as DT times T. And the second derivative, now the second derivative, that is d dt of the first derivative, that is d dt, ds dt times t plus ds dt times dt dt. Then use the chain rule for the second part. The first part is d square s d t square t plus d s d t that's d t d s times d s d t. So that is d square s d t times d t square times t plus d s d t square times t. Okay, we still remember that d s d t, d s d t that is the length of the second, uh, the first derivative. Uh, oh, plus d t. The d t d t d s that is k s times n. So the first derivative only uh, only involve the the unit tangent vector. The second derivative can be expressed as the unit tangent vector and uh, normal vector. So if we take the cross product of the first derivative and the second derivative, then we get the binomial vector. That is ds dt times t cross d square s dt square times t plus ds dt square k s times n the t cross t is zero so we have d s d t cube and the k s and t times n the t uh, cross n 
uh, not times. It's a T cross N that is B. So that is D S D T. Now uh, that's cube. Cube K S. Times B. Okay, first we need to find the KS. We take the uh, length. So the length that is K. Uh, here we use KT. We just use or just use K. We use KT here. Uh, times uh, d s d t cube cube uh, the length of b is 1 so we got k t equals the cross product uh, the length of the cross product uh, over the r t the length of first derivative cube because this is is here. So we got the curvature. We got the curvature. And then the B that is actually the first derivative cross the second derivative over over k over kt then the r prime the length of r prime cube and the kt the kt we got here so that is just the first derivative cross the second derivative over its length. Use the expression expression of the curvature. Now we'll get the two of them. So how to get if we got uh, t and b? So the n can be right it can it can be expressed as b cross t or sometimes so we use d t, uh, uh, because uh, because n is always uh, perpendicular to the uh, unit tangent vector or do we just use the derivative of t over its length but th this formula may not easy to compute as for some some time maybe it's easier use the cross product and the only one le uh, left that is torsion uh, first we write this as the first one the first is curvature the second is the second is the bilomer, the third is the lomer. And uh, how to get the torsion? And, uh, and uh, if we use the definition of the torsion, we need to compute db ds. But the db, the b is the b. Is, uh, is compli complicated here. So if we take the derivative for S uh, in terms of S for B, it's not easy to compute. So we uh, so we need to, uh, some other quantities to find the uh, tor. And because from the Fresnes uh, formula that D N D S, uh, there's there's, there's uh, there's d uh, there's tor s in the d and ds so we uh, take the derivative for the second derivative the second derivative has uh, uh, the, the, the n part 
has n part. So we take the third derivative for RT. So the third derivative that is d dt. Uh, the second derivative that is d square s dt square t uh, plus d s dt square and k s and times n because other part dt ds is only involved uh, n only uh, in, uh, include the n part so that's d cube s dt cube t plus d square s dt square and dt dt this only involved n sometimes some, some, some quantities times n and plus uh, d dt we just write it as d s d t square times k s times n plus d s d t square times k s times d n d t uh, we just write uh, this part, we don't need to write down this part as d cube ds dt cube times t plus d square s dt square dt dt plus d dt as ds dt square k s times n plus d s d t square k s d n d t we can write as d n d s to get the tall s times d s d t the d s d t the d n d s uh, the d n d s The, the okay the d n d s use the for free nice, uh, equation we have negative k s t times tau s uh, b so there for other part only have n and uh, n and t so we write as for some lambda t times t plus mu t times n um, plus uh, d n d s there's tall s here so d s d t cube this is square and there's uh, there's another d s d t and times k s times tall s times b And we know if we take the uh, take the uh, dot product with b, that is b if b dot the the uh, third derivative, then other part t and the n part gone. That is d s d t cube then k s then tau s then times one b dot b is one and b and b is the first derivative cross the second derivative Uh, then times this uh, takes a uh, cross product the b is the first derivative across the second derivative over 
the first derivative across the second derivative takes the length. That's here. Then e cos. Then e cos ds over dt cube times ks times tau s because that's the derivative cube and ks is the first derivative cross the second derivative and then takes the length over the first derivative, the length, the cube of the first derivative, and tau s. So we uh, cancelled this part and de divide both sides by the length of the cross product. Then we got tau s, that is the first derivative cross the second derivative. Then dot product is the third derivative over the cross product, the square of the cross product. Okay, we we uh, summarize. Summarize the T as the first derivative over the length the b is the first derivative cross the second derivative over its length and the n that is b cross t or it calls the derivative of t over its length and k that is the first derivative cross the second derivative length over the first the cube of the length of first derivative and tau that is the first derivative across the second derivative then dot the third derivative over the length of the cross product of first derivative and the second derivative square that's the Fourier frame and uh, and the uh, curvature and the torsion. Let's take an example. If the RT, that is RT is 1 minus sine of T, T plus cosine T, I plus T minus cosine T, J plus square root 2 sine t k find t b n k and uh, tau the solution is the first derivative that is 1 minus sine T one plus sine t and uh, square root two cosine t. We use the coordinates form. The second derivative that is negative cosine t uh, cosine t negative square root two sine t and the third derivative that is sine t 
negative sine t and negative square root cosine t. And uh, we have to compute the length of the first derivative, the length of the cross product of second, um, first and second derivative. So first we find the length of the first derivative. That is square root uh, 1 minus sine t square plus 1 plus sine t square plus 2 cosine t square. That is uh, 2 plus 2 sine t square plus 2 cosine t square. So that is 2 square root of 4 at the length. And the cross product that is i, j, k. First derivative 1 minus sine t, 1 plus sine t, square root 2 cosine t, negative cosine t, cosine t, and uh, negative square root 2 sine t. And uh, i, the i is 1 plus sine t uh, times negative 2 uh, square root 2 sine t, that is square root 2, negative square root 2 sine t, uh, minus negative square root 2 sine t square, minus negative 2, uh, negative, uh, negative square root 2 cosine t square. That's i, j, j is minus j. So minus j is 1 minus uh, 1 times square root 2 sine t. So that is negative square root 2 sine t plus square root 2 sine t squared minus, uh, that's plus, square root 2 cosine t squared. Then that's j. And k. That's one uh, as a cosine t minus sine t cosine t plus cosine t uh, plus cosine t sine t then as k. Uh, this is so that is negative square root sine t. Mm, minus negative 2. As i, as j, that is square root 2, as square root 2 minus square root 2 sine t, j, k, uh, uh, that is cosine t. Cosine t, there's square root. That's k. Uh, k. One. That's uh, cosine t minus. Oh, there's another part. There's another part. Uh, negative uh, plus. Oh, yes. That's here. That's 2 cosine t. OK. Uh, we can take the square root 2 offset. Negative square, square root 2, 1 plus sine t. Uh, minus square root 2, 1 minus 
sine t and uh, plus 2 cosine t. Okay, that's j. That's i. Okay, so it takes uh, uh, we have to find out the length of the second uh, the cross product. The length. Uh, square root as uh, two one plus sine t sine t square plus two one minus sine t square plus four cosine t square uh, that is uh, two two uh, that's four that's a 4 uh, plus 4 sine t square. That's a plus 4. That's sine t square plus cosine t square. That is square root 8. That's 2 square root 2. And uh, we have to find the cross, the triple, tri triple scalar product. Dot. Second, the third derivative. Mm. Second, sine t negative sine t. Uh, that is negative square root one plus sine t, and uh, the the third derivative is sine t times sine t minus negative 2 1 minus sine t and uh, the third is the negative sine t so times negative sine t and uh, plus 2 cosine t times negative 2 negative square root 2 cosine t that is uh, negative square root 2 sine t minus negative 2 square root 2 sine t square minus negative uh, that's that's we can write as plus that's plus square root 2 sine t minus square root 2 sine t square so this two part cancelled uh, minus 2 square root 2 cosine t square so that's negative 2 square root 2 uh, negative negative just because this sine t square plus cosine t square okay as the uh, triple scalar product now we use the formula so t is the first derivative over its length The first derivative, 1 minus sine t, 1 plus sine t, square root 2, cosine t, over 2. So that is 1 half. 1 minus, uh, 1 minus sine t, 1 plus, cos, uh, 1 plus sine t. 1 minus sine t, 1 plus sine t, square root 2, cosine t. And uh, B is uh, the first derivative cross the first derivative, the second derivative over over its length. Its length is 
one as a square root two, uh, two times square root square root two, and the cross cross is here. That's negative square root two, one plus sine t. Negative square root two, one minus sine t, and uh, two cosine t. So that is uh, one half, one plus sine t. Uh, negative one half, negative one half, one minus sine. 1 plus sine t, 1 minus sine t, and uh, uh, 1 over square root 2 cosine t. That's the b. And uh, n is t cross of that's b cross t, t. That's b cross t. Uh, I, J, K. So negative one half one plus sine t. Negative one half one minus sine t. And uh, one over square root two cosine t. Oh, maybe we use the derivative. Maybe easy. Maybe it's easier. Maybe it's easier to use it as t prime. That's one half uh, negative cosine t. Cosine t. Negative square root sine t. So it's length. It's, oh, that's not here. Oh yes, that's here. So it's a one half. Uh, one half as uh, two cosine t square, two sine t square. So that's uh, square root two. So that one over square root two. So the n t that is. That is takes oh okay so that's square root two over two negative cosine t cosine t negative square root two sine t. We just use derivative maybe in this in this problem it's easier and for k as the Cross product, the length of cross product of the first and second derivative, and over the first derivative, the cube. Uh, that is two square root two. And the first, the length of the first derivative that is two, so that's two cube. That's eight. Uh, that square root 2 over 4 and the tau t the tau t that is the r the first derivative and the, the second derivative takes a cross product then dot product the third one the third, the third derivative over the first derivative cross the second derivative takes the length and square the length of square that is h and the triple and the tri the, the triple scalar product is negative Two square root two. So that is negative square root two over four. 
Okay, that's for the general parametrician. It's much uh, it's uh, much more complicated than in the uh, in the arc lengths. That's the summary. Okay, we can frame this summary. It's very complicated.